Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Mood. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to solve it for a, b and c, for integer a, b and c, and we need to find our, our answer to this. Take a look right here. This 4 can be written as 2 square and this, two can, this 8 can be written as 2 cubed. So let's do this. We will have 2 to the power a plus this 4 we write as 2 square. So 2 square to the power b and plus 2 cubed raised to the power c, equal to 656. So nothing changed, we just write this 4 as 2 square and this 8 as 2 cube. What are we going to do next? We can multiply this, this power, this is a this power rule, what we will have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power 2b plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 656. So we just using uh, the power rule, nothing changed. What we're going to do next? Let's use a substitution. So let's these powers, we go to substitution later, but let this power, let's a equal to m, for example, 2 to the power m, or we'll see later, maybe m equal to b, maybe m equal to c, but nothing change. Plus 2 to the power, for example, p, and plus 2 to the power q equal to 656. So let's use this substitution and then we will go to this substitution. We need the answer in integer, so maybe we'll have no answer in integer, maybe more answer in integer, so we'll see. So we use this substitution. So take a look. Let's factor out from here 2 to the power m. From this expression let's factor out 2 to the power m. What we'll have? 2 to the power m and in parentheses what we'll have? From here 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m and plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to 656. And take a look. We have this number, 656, and right here we will have even number. So if you express this 656 using this even number times right here we'll have odd number, because right here we have even number plus even number will be even number, and plus 1 it will be odd number. So let's express this 656 as Let's take a look right here. 656 dividing by 2, what we'll have? We will have 328 dividing by 2, what we'll have? 164 dividing by 2, we will have 82 dividing by 2, we will have 41. So take a look. This is odd number, and right here we can write this 656 as 41 times 2 to the fourth power. It's a really good case, because we'll have 2 to the power m times 1 plus this the same, 2 to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m, and let's write this 656 as 2 to the fourth power times 41. So take a look, this is a really good case, because 2 to the power m and 2 to the fourth power, this is even number, so as you can see from here, m equal to 4. I write this right here, so m equal to 4. This is our first really good moment, fine, first case. And these parentheses, I write this right here, and this 41 will be equal, because this is equal, and these parentheses with this 41 will be equal as well. So as a result, we'll have the next step. This in parentheses equal to 41. What we will have? We will have 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m and plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to 41. Take a look. If we bring this one right here on the right, what we will have? We will have a really interesting case, because we will have 2 to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to 40. And let's use the same logic as right here. So let's factor out from here, for example, 2 to the power p minus m. So let's do this. What we will have? We will have 2 to the power p minus m, and in parentheses we will have 1 plus 2, and I write this long, long way, q minus m minus p and plus m. We simplify this a little bit later, equal to 40. What are we going to do next? We will have a really interesting case. We will have 2 to the power p minus m, and in parentheses we will have 1, plus 2 to the power q minus p. Just simplifying this, equal to 40. And take a look, this number will be even number. So I write this e right here, even number, 2 to the power p minus m. And this in our parentheses will be odd number. 
So we can write this 40, we need to write this 40 as a product, even number times odd number. And as you can see, a really good case to write it, it will be 8 times 5, it will be 2 cube times 5. And as a result, we will have 2 to the power p minus m times 1 plus 2 to the power q minus p. So I just I write this equal to 2 cube times 5. And as you, as you can see right here, this one and this one, this is our case because this is even number, even number, this is odd number. I write this using the red pen, so this and this will be equal as well. So as a result, as you can see what we will have, 2 to the power p minus m equal to 2 cube. Then from here, 2 to the power p minus 4, because we know this m, equal to 2 cube. And from all of this equation, we will have that p equal to 7. This is our p. Really good, we find our, our p. Let's go next. This parenthesis equal to 5, the last step. We will have 1 plus 2 to the power q minus p equal to 5. Bring this 1 on the right, we will have 2 to the power q minus p equal to 4 and q minus p equal to 2. From here q equal to 2 plus p, p equal to 7, so q equal to 9. So q equal to 2 plus 7 equal to 9. We find all of these, all of these values, all of these, all of these numbers, p, q, and, and m. But our equation is with a, b, c. So we need to write a final, a final expression right here. So we have that 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b, 2b, and plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 656. And take a look, under all of these expression I write the 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power p and plus 2 to the power q equal to 656 as well and of course we know that m is less than p less than or equal to q. And take a look, we need an answer in integers. So as you can see m equal to 4 from here, p equal to 7 and q equal to 9. And we need our answer in integers. One and only case is when a equal to p, so a equal to 7. Because if we have 2p to p, two b equal to 7, this number b is not equal to uh, integer number, because we have 2b equal to 7, b equal to 7 half. This is not good for us. 3c equal to 7, this is not good for us. We'll have 7 third. But in our case, a equal to 7. Let's go next. We have 2b. 2b equal to 4 or 2b equal to 9? Real good case because 2b equal to 4 is, is good for us because we need answer in integers. So as you can see, 2b equal to 4, b equal to 2. And the last case. It's really good because 3c, we'll add with this 9, 3c equal to 9, so c equal to 3. And we find our answer. This is no answer in integer number. There is a lot of answer in non-integer number, but if we are talking about integer, this is our solution. We can check the solution real quick. Let's check it, it's really interesting. We will have 2 to the 7th power plus 4 square and plus 8 cube equal to, let's check it real quick, 2 to the 7th power 128 plus 16 and plus 512. It will be 64 times 8 512. And let's add all of this. What we'll have? We'll have our, our answer. We'll have 656. And this is our answer. Really interesting algebra problem for me. I really like this kind of this problem because we'll have complicated explanation, complicated like a long explanation, step by step, finding our m at first, factor out this 2 to the power m and find this m. Factor out this expression with p, knowing m as well, and we find our p. Factor out from here, but right here we cannot factor out because we have a simple, simple algebra problem. We have a simple expression, q equal to 9. The next step, we need an answer in integers. 
and in one and, one and only case, one and only combination is when a equal to 7. Because 2b equal to 7, this is not integer b, 3c equal to 7, this is not integer c. And check it real quick right here. If you still have any question, it will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting subs up. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next algebra problem. Have a great day.